you all doing welcome dynamite welcome welcome if you're seeing this video i just wanted to do a quick video um the last one i did everyone seemed to enjoy it so i thought let me do another one and this time i'm speaking about this self-fulfilling prophecy that most of us do but we don't know that we do it and that prophecy is that i can't prophecy i can't prophecy a lot of us use this in our vocabulary day to day if you sit right there where you are right now and just think how many times do i say the word i can't how many times do i say i can't do something i can't move i can't go i can't do it i i can't i'm sorry i can't how many times do we use that vocabulary and this word actually came to me a while back even in the days of my youth I remember watching a movie, Love and Basketball. I don't know if you've all seen it. It's a really nice romantic movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And in that movie, um, there was a scene where the son, Quincy McCall, said to their father, I can't do it. You know, it's a reaction most children use. And the father said, can't is not, should not be in your vocabulary. And I thought, my God. How powerful is that? As children of God, we we grew up with the knowledge of I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. We say it all the time, but how many times do we actually believe that word? How many times do we actually use the can attitude and not I can't? It's so easy for us to, to say I can't do something. Oh, can you be available for this? I can't. I'm sorry. We look at everything else around us that will affect us or stop us from achieving something when in fact we can look at the positive of doing that thing and what we'll gain from it we always think of how we will be impacted how you know how it will affect us how much time do we have how much will you be able to pull yourself into something and without realizing it the more you're using that word the more you're prophesying to yourself that you cannot do it i mean many times we've used oh i can't do this i can't do this i can't do this and then we go for it and thinking the opposite will happen you've already prophesied to yourself you can't do it and <laughs> so why then do you think it will be possible you've already defeated yourself before you even get started how many of us do this on a day-to-day -day basis so i just wanted to speak to us about limiting the negative vocabulary, limiting the things that bring anxiety, the things that tells us that we cannot do something. You know, it, it, it is, it is very negative of us to think that we cannot when God has already said, you can do all things. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If God of all possibilities, is our God and we carry that DNA. That DNA is in us. Surely we should move with a more positive outlook to what we can or cannot do. You know, we, we spend so much time on, on fearing, on, on being negative, on, on not drawing on the strength that we carry. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. With that strength, imagine what you can achieve. Imagine what you can do. Imagine where you can go. Imagine the people you can meet. See all they can in that <laughs> statement. There is so much you can do. Second Timothy 1 7 talks to us about, you know, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but has given us the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Sound mind means having that ability to look positive at things. Being able to see things for what you can achieve. Instead of looking at, oh, that hurdle or that barrier or that challenge as what will stop me from doing it. What you need to be looking at is what will I, what will limit. I don't know if I'm making sense. Don't look at the limitations. Look at what is possible. Look at what you can do to, to jump over that hurdle. Look at, okay, my, my legs are good. I can move forward. I can go for it. I might trip and fall, but that doesn't matter as long as I go for it. Progress over perfection. That is the key. So instead of looking at, I can't do something, look at the possibility 
of doing it and just going for it. Go for it. And Jesus said, all things are possible for them that believe. Mark 9, 23. All things are possible for them that believe. For the one who believe. Do you believe today? What is it that is a challenge in front of you? What is it that you've been procrastinating about? What is it that you've wanted to do, but have been stopping yourself from doing it? What is it that seems like so much of a big challenge? Is it to pass your driving? Is it to step out and go to that bar alone? Is it to go to that restaurant by yourself? Many people do not do sitting restaurants by themselves. They've never been to a restaurant by themselves. I find it quite fulfilling to do something for myself, by myself. I feel like is is you know, is 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 something that draws the confidence out of you. Take that bold step. Do something you've never done before. And just say it to yourself, say it to yourself, I can do this and go for it. I want to hear your comments. I want to see what you've challenged yourself to do this week. What is it that you have stepped out to do this week that you would not normally do? Is it to talk to a friend? Is it to go to a party? Is it to, to um, read a book? Is it to some, most people say, I don't have time to read in one day. But the truth of the matter is you create time progress over perfection stop this self-fulfilling prophecy stop saying the word i can't or can't i should say word i can't because if i say stop saying the word it's not a word because you're saying i can or i cannot stop using the phrase i can't when indeed you can and you will by the grace of the almighty god remember you can do all things through christ who strengthens you believe it talk it, walk it. You can do it. I believe in you. And I pray that the Lord Almighty will give you the courage and the strength to step out today. Remember, folks, progress over perfection. I love you with the love of God and I'll catch you real soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.